Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are discussing free food versus premium food on NCL. We're going to go over all the free options to dine on NCL as well as the premium ones and let you know what's worth it, what's not, and where you should be spending your time eating. All right, so for the free food, the first place is the easiest place you can find, and that is the main dining room. Yes. Uh, the main dining rooms are very nice on mm -hmm. NCL, and the service is incredible. It is. So you could, if you didn't want to go to any premium dining mm -hmm. rooms, eat your dinner in the main dining room mm -hmm. every night and be very happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a very good dining experience with great uh, level of service. Yes. Uh, and the meals, there's a great variety. Mm -hmm. um, they have, every night you can get steak, you can get chicken, you can get salmon, mm -hmm. uh, you get sides, salad, dessert, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and, and really in the main dining room, the benefit that you have also is if you want two different things, you can order mm -hmm. as many things as you want. Definitely. So, uh, there's no limits there. So really we do recommend, uh, if you're on a longer cruise planning to eat most of your meals in the main dining yes. room, your dinners at least. Yes. Uh, and also take note that you can eat sometimes breakfast and yes. lunch in mm -hmm. the main dining room and they don't advertise it. But it's a really nice mm -hmm. experience because the level of service and food is great at those mm -hmm. kinds of awesome. Yes, yeah, a much different variety. So the second place you're going to eat for free is going to be the buffets. Uh, the garden buffet is on most boats mm -hmm. and it is free. It's on the top deck and you're going to do that maybe on days you're getting off the boat mm -hmm. and you got to go a little quicker because mm -hmm. you have a shore excursion to get to mm -hmm. or you just got back from the beach or something. <laughs> yes and you want to just grab a quick bite. Yes. So uh, what did you think of the quality of the buffet? Um, the quality of the buffet was good. Um, it wasn't obviously comparable to the main dining room, but they did have a really good selection, which I really liked of all different type of ethnic foods. And mm -hmm. then each night they had something from the port kind of themed to wherever mm -hmm. we were. Yeah. And the interesting thing to me was our, our waiter in the main dining room on several nights, we were about to order a dessert or mm -hmm. something, and he would say to us, oh, no, don't get that. That's just from the buffet. So <laughs> the buffet sometimes does have some of the same food mm -hmm. as the main dining room, but the main dining room has special things you can't right. get at the buffet. So yes. uh, you can check with your waiter and see what they have, because you can run up there and get one of those later in the night <laughs> if you want. Um Thirdly is one of your favorites, I know, yes. which is Oceans, yes. which is the only restaurant uh, open on NCL 24 hours mm -hmm. a day. Yes. Now, the only the only time that they're, you can still sit in there and eat, but the only time when they can't, they don't take orders is when they're flipping from breakfast to their lunch and dinner menu. So there's 30 minutes in there between 11 and 11.30 where they um, don't take orders. But if you're already sitting in there, it's not a problem. Or if you just want to sit and wait, that's not a problem. But really, the food here was great. The staff was fantastic. Um, and it, it, it's the only one that was open 24 hours. So you yeah. can eat there whenever you wanted. It didn't matter. Which I love because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes late at night, if it's like 1 o'clock in the mm -hmm. morning, you want to go get something to eat, you're going to find yourself <laughs> at O'Shean's. They had really like bar food, basically. Mm -hmm. yep. Fish and chips. Yep. Um, really great premium uh, beef hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Really good burgers, wings, fries, lots salads. of great salads and yeah. soups as well. Yes, so really great uh, options there. Mm -hmm. uh, next one that's free is the Asian Fusion mm -hmm. restaurant, and uh, it's pretty nice if you want to mix it up. Mm -hmm. You go to the Asian Fusion. It's not a big restaurant, not a big area, mm -hmm. and not not used a ton. Right, um, and we didn't find ourselves there very often because we did find that there was usually Asian food on the buffet. Right, which was pretty similar right so um it wasn't one that we used often we did eat there mm -hmm. uh, but it, but it was pretty similar to some other stuff you could get yes. so mm -hmm. we didn't see a real need to go there very often yeah um uh, and then lastly for free food would be the outdoor buffet which is mm -hmm. the gray outdoors and honestly it is just the same thing as the indoor buffet <laughs> yes. with just different hours so yeah. when they want they to the food they, they move it out there and when they want to start cleaning up the inside buffet mm -hmm. they move the food outside yeah. uh, and <laughs> clean the inside and make you go outside so yeah. if you go to the inside buffet and you find that it's closed it's probably outside yeah <laughs> uh, moving on to premium restaurants All right. and uh the first question we need to answer is are these worth it in your opinion 
Um, well, I would say some of them are worth it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that all of them are worth it, and we'll kind of touch briefly on that as we go through them here quickly, but um, I would say some of them are definitely worth it. Okay, so let's get to the first one that is worth it, and that is Cagney's. That's uh, which my is the which is the steakhouse, <laughs> um, and it is an incredible mm -hmm. restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's probably if you're paying for it a la carte, the most expensive of them. But if you have the free dining package where you get to pick two or three, mm -hmm. um, which most which what most people have, uh, definitely pick Cagney's for one of them, <laughs> and maybe do it for your first one because you may want to switch your other ones to yes. it also. It's that good. Yes, um, it would be comparable to some of the better restaurants that we've been to mm -hmm. uh, in the United States. Definitely. It, it, it was de absolutely worth um, using one of our premium package meals on Cagney's. Actually, we used it for more than one. Yeah, we used three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the last cruise, we've been on several end sale cruises, and the last cruise we used three on Cagney's. Yes. So, um, <laughs> you can get... Uh, Huge steaks. You can get fillets. Mm -hmm. You can get porterhouse. You can get T-bone. They have incredible sides, incredible desserts, mm -hmm. as well as lobster, lobster, crab cakes. Yep. A few of the items there now. They've started doing a small upcharge mm -hmm. if uh, if you have the dining package. Right. But it's not very much. Right. Um, it's but still worth it. It's not the steaks though. So. Um, it's the seafood. It's the seafood that has a small upcharge. <laughs> yeah, upcharge. the lobster and actually the crab cakes. Yeah. But this, the service mm -hmm. in there is incredible. Um, really one of the best restaurants we've eaten in. Uh, second one we're going to highlight is Moderno, yes. which is the Brazilian uh, buffet restaurant where they bring the meat right out mm -hmm. to you. Yes. And uh, we've been to this one several times, mm -hmm. and we think it's good. It's not as good as the Brazilian steakhouses that you will find in the States, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like a Fogo or any of those or types. Texas State Brazil. Texas State Brazil. Yeah. It's not quite at that level. Mm -mm. So if you're thinking that's what it's going to be, it's not. Um, it's not at that level. It's still good, though. Mm -hmm. um, so comparatively, Cagney's is better than a lot of the steakhouses mm -hmm. that you'll go to in the mm -hmm. States, and Moderno is a little bit under. Right. So if you're going to pick one or the other, if you have extras, you mm -hmm. would pick Cagney's on that. Uh, yeah. Thirdly is Le Bistro. What did you think about that? Yeah, Le Bistro is their French restaurant, and it was amazing. Um, we took a chance on Le Bistro because we weren't sure about the French cuisine, but we looked at the menu and we thought, okay, there's enough on here that we would choose from. So went ahead and went in and had the meal, and it was really spectacular. Yeah. It is this one, it's definitely worth it. To yeah, use and there are, uh, <laughs> they've got great French soups, mm -hmm. bread. Mm -hmm. uh, there are desserts there that you can only get in La mm -hmm. Bistro, which are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you can still get the same steak that you can get in Cagney's in La Bistro. Mm -hmm. We found that out right. after we were there, our waiter yep. told us. Um, you can order that, and it's not even really on the menu, but you can still order yes. it, they told us. Um, so if you're going there and you don't want what's on the menu, mm -hmm. inquire about a steak. Um, so the next one is La Cucina, mm -hmm. which is the Italian restaurant, yes. and we didn't find it to be worth the mm -hmm. extra money. So, there were no spectacular meals. There were, it was really just, honestly, you can get the same exact pasta dishes in the Italian section of the buffet, or even on the menu in the main dining room. Yeah. So to me, it's a, it's a waste. Yeah, and the service was, was good in La Cucina, but also the surroundings and the furnishings not quite as nice as Cagney's no, no. or the others. So that that one for us is not our favorite, yeah, probably yeah. The, our least favorite <laughs> of them. And then lastly would be Teppanyaki, mm -hmm. which is the Japanese restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, and it is also very good, awesome service. Mm -hmm. But again, there is a free Asian fusion restaurant on right. the boat. And there is Asian food on the buffet. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're really yeah. not getting something that you can't get elsewhere. Whereas with Cagney's, there are steaks on the boat, but you're not getting a 24-ounce porterhouse. No, uh, or that type of filet. Or that type or, of lobster. Yeah, you're just not. So, um, Teppanyaki is good if you really like that kind of experience. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that it would be better than uh, uh, the type of yeah, teppanyaki you would find in the it's States. It's comparable to the other Japanese steakhouses that you would find anywhere yeah. else. So, uh, to recap, our favorites are definitely... Uh, Cagney's and Le Bistro, 
followed by Moderno, and then the two that we wouldn't probably do again would be La Cucina or Tepanyaki. Right. Yep. Um, so that's the premium restaurants. One other thing we wanted to mention about food on NCL is that room service, there is a charge mm -hmm. now of mm -hmm. $9.95 uh, as of right now. So that is not free anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you want free food and it's late, just walk down to Oshian's. That's probably where they're bringing you the food from anyway. Yes. Um, so they're just charging you $10 to walk it to you. You walk to them, it'll be free. Mm -hmm. And you also, uh, if you do if you do that and go to Oshian's and order some food, you cannot take it to go. You have to eat it at the restaurant. Correct, yes. Now, uh, if you do want late night snacks, they do let you, I don't know if you're supposed to, but... You see a lot of people taking <laughs> food from the buffet mm -hmm. back to their room. Right. Um, I don't know if they're yeah, cracking down on that. Yeah, I don't think that's a that, problem. But, um, but not from machines. They don't let you order that to go. You need to sit there. Well, we hope this uh, video has been helpful for you. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. And we will see you on the next one.